What is good, worthy body fan? Got my boy Danny here. He's yes. the first guest on the freaking channel. I'm so excited to have this conversation with you guys. Just got a crazy lift in. We feel freaking pumped. We train arms. Oh my god, how was that oh, workout, yeah. bro? How do you like it? Oh, it was crazy, man. We got the pump going. Oh, so good. That's really good. Feeling great. <laughs> but we're here to talk to you guys about something that's very important. And it's gonna be the five things that we wish we knew before we started lifting. The first thing I wish I knew before I started lifting was that I didn't know how much food I had to eat to get big. I would nibble, I would just go through the motions, eat a few meals, three meals a day is not enough. If you're a hard gainer like myself, some dudes gain it easier still. Are you, are you hitting your macros? You can't just go on the fly with this. It's not gonna freaking work. Yeah, man, you need your calories, right? You, you need that food to get them the size at first. Like you said earlier, you gotta bulk and then you gotta cut, right? Yeah. So, you're not gonna make any massive gains if you're not eating enough to be massive, you know? Exactly. Like, you gotta eat your gains to get your gains. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. But I you could. gotta eat the right gains. Ooh. Like, we're not talking chocolate, we're talking broccoli, chicken, the yeah. rice, the bro yeah. meal, you know? Our second tip up here, gotta do abs when you're training, right? Most people skip abs. They all say, mm -hmm. I'm gonna train abs at the end of my workout, and they never do it. Mm -hmm. They what, never do it. Yeah, that's why I do it first. It's a great yeah. warm up, too, because you get the heat, you get the sweat, and then you're ready to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. D Danny shocked me today. I came in this gym, this basically <laughs> he was like, yo, let's train abs right away. I was like, what? You train abs first? And that's why it's good to be flexible. Yeah. I tried something new today, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. A lot of times people like break up their things, like I do back, shoulders, chest, and legs. Mm -hmm. But what about abs? Uh, what I've been trying to do now is doing abs every single day. I try to do it for like a warm-up thing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go that deep, but you should be doing abs like at least two to three times a week. Um, That's perfect. You know, because just by staying skinny, like you might see them, but you want to get them strong, right? And uh, that gives you that like aesthetic look, you know, when you actually exercise these abs. But it's just try new things. This wasn't even on a list, but I want to say this. I want to harp on this. Don't be afraid to try new things. We know a lot about fitness. We've tried many things. That's the only reason we know stuff is because we're able to get creative. We don't ego this whole thing. I know I don't know everything. He knows doesn't know everything, and we're open to different perspectives. And I'll take you so far in this game. I'll promise you that. Mm -hmm. uh, what I do, just 10 minutes. Every minute, change the exercise. Just go for the time. You know, you don't have to do anything super crazy. Yeah. Uh, but if you do it every day, you're going to see a big difference. So, moving on to cardio. I'm all about the muscle. I'm all about getting big, getting jacked. So I thought to myself, why would I do cardio if I want to get bigger? I learned this this year. This year, that the fact that I wasn't doing cardio was killing my gains, destroying my gains. Why? Because my appetite needs to increase. So if I do a little bit of cardio, we're not saying run five miles, but even if you're bulking, you still do cardio for your heart health and also to up your appetite. It doesn't have to be running, guys. Do biking, doing burpees even if you have no equipment. Yeah. Uh, swimming is a great one too if you hate, you know, the running on your knees or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you can do a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, keep active, keep that heart rate going. That's what burns the calories. That's what gets your metabolism going. And uh, that's, that's what we want. You know, keeps us cut. Keeps us lean. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, this is one thing where we're gonna differ in opinion, mm. which is why we gotta give you both sides of the coin. I've met guys that have this opinion, but you know, let's give it to you. Creatine. Mm. I wish that I was more consistent while taking my creatine in my earlier days of lifting because it helped me get bigger faster, it helped me get stronger faster. We'll do a quick scenario here. Creatine is ATP, it's energy in the muscles. All it really does is help you put in more effort. So if you take creatine, right, and before you took it, you get 135 for 10 reps. All creatine will do will help you get 12 to 13 reps. Over a long period of time, that is a huge difference. But if you take it consistently, it's an even bigger difference. Mm -hmm. People take it one day and they stop. That does nothing for you. Takes about two, three weeks to even kick in. So, I love creatine. But Danny over here has a different opinion about creatine. Yeah, I got a little bit of a different opinion. I mean, same thing. I, I, I took it for, for one year when I was 19, mm -hmm. and it did help me break that threshold and, and get that size, that mass that I was looking for. 
but I'm also a, a swimmer and the creatine kind of you know hindered my ability to, to like be flexible in the pool and everything um, and it kind of dried me out so I didn't really like the feeling that, that I was feeling with creatine but yeah. you know I've heard a lot of research and they, they say it works so uh, you know do your own research and, and, and make your call with that one. This is a prime learning moment. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not going to react the same way to supplements. Mm -hmm. That's just the way life goes. Some dudes hate pre-workout. I love it. We love it. Mm -hmm. But some dudes, they can't. They just can't. It makes them throw up. It makes them hate it's themselves. Dirty, yeah. Yeah. But see, that's why you got to try things for yourself and learn from yourself. That's, what, that's how it goes. It's what you need mm -hmm. at the end of the day. But now... I think we're on to the most important part of this. The and the, the last tip is the most important. Mm -hmm. And that's about having fun with this. I know it's cliche. I know it sounds kind of dumb. But if you're not enjoying your fitness journey, what are you doing? You're not going to come back to it. You're going to hate it. Right? Don't think of it as work. Right? This go. isn't your workout. Um, <laughs> this is time to play, right? Seriously. Um, this is a time to enjoy. As you were saying before, have that open mind, how we were trying new things. Yeah. If, if you're not having fun, you're going to be closed minded. You're going to be stuck in your ways and, and you know, you're not going to be able to shock your muscles. You're not going to be able to grow in the same way that you could if you have that open mindset and you're having fun with it and everything like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Fun fact, actually, in Indonesian, when they say you're going to work out, they really say play fitness. That's the direct translation. And I think that's an interesting thing, right? I didn't know that. You're playing gym. You're not working out, right? As we say, it yeah. sounds like a job. But yeah. Right? Yeah. play gym, literally. That's how they say it. So, interesting perspective. I did not know you were going to say that. That was like great information. <laughs> yeah. But, like, listen to my mans, though. Because if you think of this as a chore, no one wants to do chores, no one wants to vacuum the house. But if you can have fun with it, I don't care what you do. This is a channel for everybody. Maybe you, you don't have to love bodybuilding like we do. You can love cycling. You can love swimming. You can love playing basketball. But whatever you do, make sure you do it with passion and make sure you're having fun with it. Because if not, why do it? We love the grind. We love the hustle. Mm -hmm. This is what we like. We just found what we like. Some people, a lot of girls say this, and it's kind of cliche to say, find your fitness. Like, <laughs> they have pages like that. But it's funny with the right. The women are right. Find your fitness. Find your path. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, I freaking promise you, you will enjoy this. You will love to learn about it. You will research it. You will go to my YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. We get the best information out there. <laughs> Shameless plug. But this is what it's about, man. Finding friends to live with. We met last weekend, bro. Mm -hmm. People yeah. don't even know that. They don't even know that. <laughs> yeah, like four days ago. Yeah. <laughs> four days ago. We're out like, yo, bro, let's train. And we freaking did it. Yeah. So you never know where your path will take you. You never know what's going to happen. But get around like-minded people and get to the gym and do what you want to do. I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that's the video, bro. Yeah. Stay positive and get yeah. after it, man. Let's go. Let's, Let's do it. We'll <laughs> so be seeing a lot more of Danny in these videos. Yeah. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we're dropping the best fitness content that you're ever gonna freaking see. And yeah, worthy body all day on all socials. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey.